Welcome to Social Jumpstart, the cable television program about social media. I'm Mike Walpert, and today's show is about video blogging, and our guest is quite the expert. Mary Carey is a rock chick and the founder of videoblogmarketing.com. Mary, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you got started in all this. I mean, you have quite the following, quite the website, quite the business. Where did it begin? Well, I, I'm a lead guitar player, and I've spent my life playing in rock bands. And in the beginning, um, somewhere around 2004, the music business got really, really hit hard by the internet. And so we had to find a way to connect with our fans um, ourselves because the big record labels weren't quite sure what to do with it all. Our music was being stolen. And uh, we realized that video blogging and using WordPress websites was a great way to connect with our fans. So you, you took your experience and then discovered that you really saw a need with other bands and now other businesses. And, and so that's what you do. That's how you uh, help people. Tell me a little bit of, of, about what that looks like. Tell me more about that, the people you work with and how you integrate video blogging into what they do. Oh, it's, it's actually a lot of fun because the internet has changed the way people relate to each other. Television, we're, we're really accustomed to television where we're throwing a big wide net and trying to catch a few people by interrupting them in the middle of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, this is different. It's not interruption-based marketing. So being really authentic and helping them build their own videos, their own websites, have complete control themselves over everything, um, it's a lot of fun. And even in my own business, because I'm on video, the people who come to work with me resonate with me. And, and I don't really work with anyone that I don't, that, where we don't get each other. It's, a, it's awesome. So video is a, uh, a great intro from a business owner or, or a practitioner to their prospects and customers. Yeah, and it's easy. It's so much easier than people think. People think it's a high you know, jump to get over, but no, it's, it's, it's easy and it's fun. What does it take to get started? Well, um, we like to suggest using a WordPress website. WordPress is a free shareware that people can get themselves. It's again, it's free, <laughs> and they can just you know install it very easily on their own domain. Um, most people have a website that's like a brochure already mm -hmm. that maybe is um, you know branded and looks like their business, and so they wonder why would I want another website. But a lot of times that, that first brochure website that they have is maybe their own name. It's not something people are necessarily searching for. So we'll build this other website, which is for their blog, so that they can use it to add a video, text, images, anything they want on a search term that people are looking for. So it'll relate to people who haven't yet met them. Ah, and so to... To find the, a, a great URL or a great domain name for a, a new blog website, how do you go about that? What's, uh, where do people begin to start looking? Okay, so it, it's, all of this to me is a lot of fun. I might be a geek, <laughs> but I love this stuff. So what I have them do or we do it for them is to open up their browser windows on their computer and open GoDaddy, okay? And I don't get anything from saying this, but so you open GoDaddy, and then on the other, maybe another browser window, you'll open up the Google Keywords tool. And what that does, it's totally free. Um, and you know, you can just go into Google and search on Keywords tool or Google, and that's a tool that's for AdWords or pay-per-click campaigns. Mm -hmm. And we're not looking at that. What we're looking at is how many people are searching on a on a phrase that pertains to your business. So, um, for instance, we're working on a winery website right now. Is it okay if I say the name of sure. it? Sure. Okay, so they have a, a boutique winery in Paso Robles called Hearthstone Vineyards. Now, if you don't know Hearthstone, you know, maybe you just want to go wine tasting in Paso Robles. So we found a name, PasoRoblesWineTasting.net. And so that way, someone who doesn't know Hearthstone is, we want to go wine tasting. When we look in the Google Keywords tool, we can see that a certain number of people, monthly average, are searching on that key phrase. 
So then we go to our other browser window, back to GoDaddy, and put it in to see if that's an available name. And sure enough, bingo, we've got uh, Paso Robles wine tasting .net. So you, you find a commonly searched term, you discover that a domain name is available, you get the domain name, the install process of, of WordPress is just a couple clicks, really. Yeah, it's just a few clicks away. And, and again, or actually I didn't say this yet, so it's not again, but um, the um, domain name is about 15% of search engine optimization. That's like a buzzword, search engine optimization. It basically just means getting all the elements together so that your website will pop up at the top of the searches. And so that domain name is just a little, it's a small part, or it's about 15%. And there's other things you can do yourself too to make sure your website gets visible. Sure. So once you, once you have uh, the WordPress installed and you, you, get a, you get a host, there's a number of different easy hosting solutions, mm -hmm. how difficult, how time consuming is it for the average business owner to begin blogging? And talk a little bit about video blogging versus regular blogging, how they tie together, how they're different. Tell me your success stories that you've had in that area. Oh, it's well, it's pretty amazing because um, there's different ways you can go about using your blog. First of all, setting up a WordPress website yourself, you could basically do it in a weekend. And it may or may not look perfectly branded or totally pro if you're doing it yourself, but it could still look pretty good. Um, you might want to get a firm that would get it set up for you to begin with so it looks really branded. but. Um, even if you don't go that way and you just want to work it yourself, you can, and there's so much information out there about how to do it yourself. And we provide a lot of that, and, but there's you know, tons of information. So in a weekend, you could really set up this website and begin to understand how to use the blog yourself. And the idea behind blogging, so if we just want to step way back, the sure. idea behind it is to use that Google Keywords tool find uh, keywords that you would want to use to reach real people. Sometimes what you want to write about, nobody wants to read about it, you know? <laughs> so you want to go find out if there's traffic for these things that pertain to your business. And usually the top questions people ask you all the time become great blog posts. Somebody asked me recently, uh, what is that green thing that goes behind people when they're in video? What is the green thing? What is that for? So I wrote a little blog post about that, and it was one of my most highly read blog posts and brought in a lot of clients for us. You know, wow. So um, it, you want to write about what people need to know and help them. Uh, help them. A lot of people, when presented with blogging, feel like, hey, I already have a full-time business. I have a full-time job running my business. I don't have time for this. I don't, it seems so overwhelming. Is it? Well, no. One of the it you can ebb and flow with it. Um, one of the things that's awesome about blogging is that you can weed out clients. So if you have to keep saying these same things over and over again to people who aren't going to become part of your business that won't turn into clients, you can actually weed those out by writing blog posts and having. Uh, you know, information for those people to realize like, oh, I'm not going to turn into a client with these people. They won't resonate. So it, it actually saves you time in the long run to have your blog and your website really fully filled out with your content. Right. And when you're talking blog posts, you're, some people feel intimidated that they might have to write a, a chapter of a book or a <laughs> thesis, but really a paragraph. Or... Oh, it's so, it's, um, first of all, some people don't even know what the word blog means. So I would like to say that the word blog means web log. So you're logging things on the web. And I like my clients to think of it as a magazine. So if you have a magazine with no articles in it, that's not so good. But um, any magazine that we read, we kind of want to get snippets and sound bites. You want to get an idea of something. So you really, in a, in a blog post, you just want to answer one question that people have. If they have the one question for me, it was about the green thing that is behind us. Um, what is that? You know, so just answer the one question, two paragraphs, and a call to action. And a call to action means just ask them to call you or, or sign up on your you know, website. Sure. So uh, a, a little bit, 
consistently is a great way to, to blog. Yes, and you know why? Because each time you write a new page, it's, it's, it literally is a page on your website. So your website gets packed and filled out with all this information. Each page is optimized on Google for different search results. So when you, for me, when I wrote about the green screen or for the winery, they're gonna talk about different kinds of wines. People will come in through that blog post to your website. They're not gonna see your homepage necessarily. They're gonna see that one answer to their question. So all of a sudden you're sprinkling the internet with lots and lots of answers and your whole website starts to get better and better search results. And let's talk a little bit about how video plays into this because uh, people also consider, you know, video, the range of, of what video on the internet is goes all the way from <laughs> terrible uh, to holy cow, awesome Super Bowl production. Yeah. <laughs> so how do people really manage that? What works? What's, what really turns viewers on in this new world? Well, it's, it depends on what kind of business you have. And sometimes it's actually better from a marketing standpoint to come up with something that's really kind of homegrown looking, very natural. Again, it goes back to not wanting to be interrupted. It's not interruption-based marketing. And they might want to just see you at your desk talking about what you do, helping them. Um, it's statistically, you want to get to the point within 10 seconds. <laughs> you don't want to talk about yourself first and then answer a question. You want to get right to the point. Mm -hmm. um, people, our clients go all the way from just like a flip cam all the way up to full production quality, you know, broadcast quality. But you can do so much now with a flip cam. Again, I'd like to go back to the winery. We filmed an, 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 all the footage that we did with a Kodak flip cam. I can't remember the name of the Kodak, but it has a lavalier mic mm -hmm. input. So it is just one of those little things that you can plug into your computer and upload the footage easily to YouTube but it has a lavalier mic input and in we used um, wireless lavalier mics um, that we got at B&H Photo Video. Can I say that? Sure. Okay. Lavalier mic, you mean just a yes, little clip-on lapel microphone. A little clip-on mic and the, the vineyard uh, managers out in the vineyard talking about the wine and it looks and sounds amazing. Talk a little bit about that, the sound quality, because by the time YouTube is done compressing the video, uh, it's not always fantastic. So what sets apart a, a really good video is sound. Yes, I totally agree. I, you could have a, you know, a really low grade picture, but you cannot have bad sound. If you have bad sound, people turn away so fast if it's squeaky or hissy. Or, and so that's why we always talk about trying to get um, cameras that have a lavalier or any mic input, mm -hmm. because that way you can get the sound will be uh, directional, whereas on a mic, on a sorry, on a camera, it's getting the whole room, and you don't want the sounds of a room. You don't want all that echoing, and you know, even here we're using microphones. <laughs> so you want to have a good mic that'll really pick up your voice and and not the whole room sound. Right, and so people can really get started easily by creating the blog using WordPress and and plugins and widgets to to. Yeah. get the video on the blog. And a lot of people have success with uh, essentially iPhone videos or smartphone videos. Oh, sure. You know, you can use anything as long as it sounds good. I would say worry about the sound before the, the visual image. And also being really authentic. I mean, this was something we learned uh, back when I started this in the music business was people want to really connect with you. So a lot of the barrier for people about video isn't necessarily the gear because it's so easy now. I mean, really, your flip cam just pops out and you can plug it right into your computer and just click the upload button to YouTube. You know, it's very simple, you know. <laughs> but they, they're afraid that they might not look right or I'm too old or I'm too fat or, you know, we the media has really ruined our self-esteem <laughs> in a lot of ways. And it turns out from a marketing standpoint, they want you to be real. We want you to be real. We want to know who you really are. And that's, that's where social media is wonderful. People are curious about the real you, you know, and so 
you know, so I play lead guitar in rock bands. You know, my I started thinking I needed a separate um, identity for my business, and then I realized no, people who resonate with me like that I play lead guitar. <laughs> right. So, so giving people you. giving people a, a, a behind the scenes look, uh, you know, all the burrs and and stuff out of place is is that's really intriguing to people, isn't it? And, it is, and, and I think they want to do business with you when they know you're a human and that you're, you know, there's, you know, of course there's a certain amount of decorum depending on what business you have. But it, generally speaking, they want to know you. And the the process then of, of posting, some people uh, will do some videos, do some blog posts, post five things in one day, and... And then, and then come back in a month. What works best, really? Okay, well, when we set up a WordPress website, we'll, we'll build it out with a lot of content to begin with. So we might shoot 30 video blogs and, um, and write maybe 50 blog posts. And that way, the site itself has all this content that can go out on Google. And so it kind of kickstarts because what we're looking for is natural search. And what that means is that we all know kind of what natural search is because we click in that one area. And they've done these heat map studies, Google has, where even Google knows that they're not going to click on the paid ads as quickly as natural search. With a WordPress website, it gets the natural search results when you have all that content. So all of a sudden, um, you know, packing the site right off the bat with a lot of content, then my clients or anyone, you know, you can ebb and flow with it. If you're super busy, back down a little bit. All of a sudden, business gets a little quiet and you want to kick things up a little, start blogging. So it's very flexible. It's whatever you want to do. Right. So it's important to make sure that there is enough content, that you keep it kind of fresh. Yes. And we've talked a, uh, quite a bit about search engine optimization and, and yeah. Google results. And, and there seems to always be somebody out there trying to sell the secret, the <laughs> black hat tricks, and, and they're going to outsmart Google. That stuff really isn't... That's not good. It's because, not good, you know, is it? Google, I'm so lucky because... We've always wanted to do this the upfront, authentic way, like you really write, put your voice in, mm -hmm. answer the questions your clients have, and just be real. And Google is bigger than any of us, and they're working every day to get rid of any of those. And they do. They have little bots that go out and will write fake blog posts and attach onto things and put in fake comments. And Google, every day I read the Google Webmaster blog, and they are just working ways to get rid of that kind of thing. Because Google hangs their hat and their reputation on their content being real and authentic and good. You don't want to put something in, you know, I hurt my knee and find out that there's some junk at the top of the search there. You know, you want to find the real guy talking about the knee. <laughs> so, right. The yeah, expert. The expert, the real authentic expert. So this video blogging is just a great way for experts to share what they do, what they know about, what they love, what they're passionate about and give people a real inside look. A real inside look, yeah. And and also, in, in video, we have different approaches to it. But, you know, again, I talked about the 10-second rule. Mm -hmm. You want a quick intro. You just want to get right to answering their question. But, uh, you know, statistically speaking, if you are answering their question, they'll hang out on your video much longer. Television, we're, our brains are programmed to do 30-second television ads or 15 second ads. This is, a, you can go longer as long as you say up front that you're answering their question. So you want to open strong. Open strong. And, and maybe introduce yourself and who you are at the, at, at the end. Yeah. At the back end. Very after nice. you've delivered. The message. The message and the, and the, and the value to them. Yes. Because really what this is about is, is expert marketing. Yeah. And really giving people a look. I like to think of it as educational marketing. And so anybody who's a professional can share their expertise in an educational way to help people. And then the video does helps in a lot of ways with marketing because they get to know you and trust you and like you and see you as an authentic source for information. And they, it, they might watch your videos for a month or two and not be ready to work with you and then finally say, you know what, I'm going to 
call that Mary Carey, <laughs> you know, or whoever they're resonating with, they're going to call you. Sure. Because they've been learning already from your videos. And tell me a little bit about how you integrate video blogs and, and blogs, your own and others, with social media, because there's a... There's a, a, it's awesome. It's very big world out there, and it can get confusing if you're trying to be on every social network in the world. Well, it's so easy with a WordPress website. WordPress is the easiest platform to use. It's like using a, um, a, a word processing program, basically. And so there's plugins you can put in on Facebook where when you write a blog post and you hit the publish button, it goes right to your Facebook. And the whole idea that we like to talk about with social media is to use it, but to use it to get them into your world. Because on your website, you'll have a call to action or your latest giveaway or your ebook or whatever it is that's gonna kind of pull them in and get them you know, working with you in a social way. Um, whereas on Facebook, you're, they're selling all of their stuff. you know. So um, with the WordPress website, you, as soon as you publish it, boom. There it is on Facebook, and then it it's a link, and it can draw them in to your website. So you're reaching out to the networks to to meet people where they already are, if they're YouTube or Twitter, LinkedIn, tagged Facebook, whatever that yeah. is, and then and then you're essentially bringing them back into your world. Yeah. Your website becomes like a, a, a media station. It's your own media station. And, and with WordPress, you can put audio, video, text, images. You can, you can talk about whatever you want on there. And you, it becomes your little hub for uh, the world. And so you, you do. You reach out to these social places and pull them into your world. Where you can build... Real. Build lists and get people to really know you and right. what you do. Actual relationships. Yes. <laughs> where they might, in fact, want what you do. They might. Or at least recommend it to their friends. Or they might not be ready and they might be ready some other time, you know. That's, that's the beauty of it. You don't have to worry about them all becoming clients right away. A lot of people worry about giving away free information or an ebook that has something free in it. Um, I, I've never worried about that myself. I think Google gives away so much free stuff and they seem to be doing fine. They seem to be <laughs> they seem to be doing okay. So give it away, people. <laughs> give it away. And and I guess if you do give it away, you're you're doing a couple of things. You're you're proving your value, you're demonstrating your expertise in an area, you're contributing to somebody else. And quite frankly, the people that only want it for free aren't really going to buy from a doctor, or a lawyer, or a restaurant who's ever using this technology to And attract. you're helping them. I mean, I figure in my case, you know, we have lots of free videos on how to do all this on my website. And I know lots of people come up to me and say, I built my website and I did all this and it was all from your uh, help and I didn't get a dime out of it and I don't care, my business is doing fine. And I was like, great, <laughs> you're helping. It's like your contribution, you know? I mean, sure. that whole business of hiding the ball is kind of passe. It's like an old way of marketing. It's better to just be authentic, help people out, you know, don't hide the ball. Right, <laughs> and be consistent. Yes, and, and, show up. And just keep at it. So for, for somebody who's watching us today, who's now beginning to get the inkling that, wait a second, this really isn't that tough. WordPress, I mm -hmm. understand. I know what GoDaddy and the other places to buy URL, get mm -hmm. hosting, these are all simple clicks. And then the actual upload process, really you can do directly, I can shoot a video of you right. uh, with my iPhone, right. upload it to YouTube from my iPhone, yeah. post a link to my blog from my smartphone, yeah, and it's it's really just that simple, isn't well, it? Well, um, and it's what's even more fun in a way than that. I mean, all of what you said is totally right. With WordPress, there's a button you can click in YouTube. So everybody getting on YouTube is really easy. Mostly, it's just a click away from your video, phone, camera, whatever you've got. And now you're on YouTube and there's a, a button that says share. So you click the share button and down comes the link, but also comes a little embed code. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to know anything about code. All you do is cut and paste it into your WordPress site. And all of a sudden, your WordPress site, 10 minutes later, has got a beautiful YouTube video of you talking about whatever you want to talk about <laughs> right away. And then you can just add another. Add another and another and another. And so it sounds doable. It sounds it's very doable. It sounds really easy. It's 
fun. It's so fun because you don't, like, again, it, for me, it's, I like being authentic. I'm kind of an open book and you can choose how open of a book you really want to be, you know, in terms of sharing yourself, but just being authentic and being real and sharing the help that you have that you would, whatever you would normally hide the ball with, like this is my business, this is my sneaky business trick, Right. let it out because people can find it anyway on the internet. And if you're open and authentic and you can share your message with them, they'll trust you and want to do business. Business with you. Moving the free line, as yeah. the internet marketing <laughs> parlance goes. Yeah. So that's terrific. Uh, Mary, you've really made some, some terrific points. I, Thank you. I think that it's easier now. So I hope our viewers feel the, the same way. And, I hope so too. And, and just get started, right? Just, just try it. Because you can't, you can't really screw it up. No, you it can't. It doesn't have to be fancy. No. It's just who you are. And you can start on another web domain with WordPress, you can have it private within your WordPress site so it doesn't get search engine optimized for a while until you're ready. Until you're ready. So you can mess around with it. And you can't really know. break anything on the internet, can you? No. <laughs> and if you're being real, genuine, and authentic, you can't really do any damage no. to your business. And you can take pages down if you don't like them later. Sure. Yeah. Great. <laughs> that is perfect. So. To recap, WordPress, nice and easy, all kinds of widgets, using video because people would, would much rather watch the internet than read the internet. Absolutely. And it's, it's kind of irresistible, too, to click that little, that little arrow to make the video it. play. Yeah. I, I always, I got to press it. Yeah. And, and lead with the, the, the powerful statement, answer the question, yes. open your video strong, and then, and then you can let it taper go off and um, go into more detail and kind of be consistent, keep it fresh, just keep at it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Fair enough? Fair enough. <laughs> right on. Sounds like great fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it very it's much. It's been fun. It has been fun. Mary Carey, Rock Chick, founder of videoblogmarketing.com. Thank you for watching Social Jumpstart, the cable show about social media. I'm Mike Walpert, and we'll see you next time, live from the tag.com studios.